Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some FTB Skies Expert. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, last episode we got started, we got our first bit of sifting done, and then I done some more sifting in between and ready to go for the next bit of business. Uh, I just finished all that actually. So, we got some quartz dust, we got glowstone, we got some appetite, it gave us some more bone meal. And then uh, the sand give us cactus, cocoa beans, bamboo, the sugar cane, and I think that's it. So, but we do have that quest complete now. So that's ready to go. That's needing to get into that. We can do, that's mana steel, andesite mesh with dirt will give us the rest of the seeds that we need. Uh, so we'll have a look at that here in just a minute. Uh, first things first, uh, we need to make us a fishing pole. I think I still got two pieces. Uh, squish. Oh, slime. And we didn't get no slime ball. Uh, so I think we still have, we can put this stuff there. We're going to have to get uh, us a hoe today. We need to start growing food. Um, what did I do with the these guys? Iron shards, two pieces. Don't do us any good at all. Other than giving us the andesite alloy, which is what we need today. Uh, so, um, we were what were we doing? Oh, string. That's what we were looking for. Two string. I have two sticks. I have four sticks. And now we have a fishing pole. Beautiful. Quest complete. And that is, this fishing can get you all kinds of treasures from food to enchanted books. Casting a reel into water over and over may be relaxing, but we've included the handy dandy cyclic fishing net. Just insert your fishing rod and it'll handle the net. Um, it... So the only problem is, is that it spits loot over the entire water surface rather than collecting it. An item collector would be helpful. I, we don't have an item collector. But we're going to try something to see if it works. That can go up. We don't need the bamboo right now or the cocoa beans. Um, so I don't know. Let's put this down. It's got that uh, always on... And I need some barrels. We need more wood. That's not very much. The pile of logs, can I use that for anything? No, that gives us charcoal. Um, or even, oh, I hear something. What do I hear? Oh, it's our frog. And we've got, we have a tree. Beautiful. That helps me out with what I want to do. Um, yeah, so much for uh, not... I say not twerking, but I run by it. As soon as I planted that one, the other one grew. Um, so there, there. That works for now. All right. So, we need some more stripped. So that, uh, I want to... And I don't have enough. I need... I'm going to need more than that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the rest of these. Three, that gives me seven. I need that. Four barrels. And what we're going to do is see if we can catch all this stuff in 
our wooden hoppers instead of it floating around everywhere. That's what we're going to hope. So let me, it's not going to take a second to do this. There we go. And then finally this guy with that and we'll throw our fishing pole in there and then we'll see what happens and whether or not that will work or if we need to, it's throwing stuff everywhere. All right, so maybe not a good idea to have this stuff just kind of floating around right now. Let's, I had hoped that would work. But to no avail. We can clean all this up now. All right, so we are back. I've got our hoe made. And we need to get some more flax going. We're going to need more string. Uh, we're going to need anything that we can get our hands on as far as food-wise goes. Um, cocoa beans is not what I needed. The seeds, flax seeds. Um, that's the only seeds I have right now. Straw. Wait on that. we can get these guys going and we can get our other seeds which was we'll do as soon as we get our water wheels which is where we are going right now so this is for a squeezer turns squeezes fluids out of items uh, I'm going to assume we're going to need that for something here soon iron substrate is a form of that's that. That gets us into our create stuff. Uh, but for the moment, I want to get into making iron shards, andesite. We've got that. So recipe, we can make eight. That should be enough to get us going. All right, so let's see. There is a chapter on create. Uh, wait, we got progression, getting resources. Uh, that gives us some more flax. Mesh progression that gets us to, wants us to get the mana steel. Yeah, we're not there yet. Uh, foodies and farmer, that's for doing the hoe, bone meal, phyto grow, and a flowering lily pad. Sure. I have no idea what that is, but we'll hold on to it. And if we go back in here, um, create. So FTB Skies Expert, most methods of producing stress units have been disabled. Here's some information about the possible machines that produce stress units for you. Starting off with the hand crank, you quickly want to move towards rickety water wheels. Shortly after, you focus on a more permanent solution. Uh, your next step up will be the diesel, diesel generator. Okay. Let's go back and claim all of these. That's all completed. All right. So that didn't help us really at all. Other than we need... Um, wait, that said we could click on there. Rickety water wheel. And... Of course we've got that so I need four logs which we don't have now we do have now we've got more saplings we can grow now, I know these can be planted close together, but I don't have a lot of food to start being able to cut down big trees with vein mine, and I don't want to fight with all that. So, that's what we're, why we're doing this right now. Uh, so, these guys, one, two, three, four. 
Um, that for those and now we should be able that's not going to break can I use my hammer for this and now we should be able to make um I need those And there's our rickety water wheel. Beautiful. Quest complete. That gives us a second water wheel, some more shafts, some more food, and a clutch. And this is to keep... We can give it a redstone signal and it will stop turning. Alright, so now that we've got those two, we can set us up a way of generating rotational force. And we also need um, a gearbox. And that should be easy enough to do with what we've got. Because we've got a handful. No, we don't. We are out of the iron now, too. So two of those, three of those. We've got plenty of shafts. Okay. Alright, so we are working towards our way of getting this all ready to go and be automated. So we need a andesite casing. We need um, four cog wheels, which I was thinking we were going to have to make and need andesite casings or alloys for that and I forgot we've got a whole bunch of shafts so we've got that there is our gearbox we're going to need uh, a vertical gearbox and now that we've got that we should be ready to go let's get us a shovel and we're going to do this probably underground So we're going to need to go one problem we're going to have is I've got no way of getting water over here let me get this figured out alright so problem number one that I see we didn't look at this uh, the hand crank quickly consumes hunger it's not very engaging either let's move on water wheels Produce rotational force with flowing water. Eventually, you'll make better. These water wheels will break over time. I just noticed that when I broke these. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be a thing. So, that means we need to get this stuff going. And get it going as quick as we can so if I put in our vertical gearbox that's turning that's going there we can put in our cog wheel and we can put in our sifter with our andesite mesh and I need Let's put our hopper in. And now we can go ahead and do our dirt and get that done. And we'll see how long these last. But we'll probably need to get to work on getting us a whole bunch of gravel and stuff going. Gravel probably the first thing so we can move on about our business. Um, so yeah i don't know how quick these we need our engineers goggles and we're probably yeah we ain't even got gold yet so that is going to be step number one is 
getting that situated. So, let's get... That's all taken care of. Uh, we don't really need the dirt right now, so let's just go ahead and put that in there to get what we seeds we can get. Uh, so I can get that going. All right. So our next item that we need is we really need to start gathering some more resources. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Do we have... We've got wands in here. What kind of... Stone wand, easy enough to make. Uh, we need some sticks, which I got... Beautiful. We can go ahead and hammer that one. And I can get on about doing that and doing that. And yeah, uh, that's where we're at. So I'm willing to wait for this to finish. We've got a bunch of stuff in there. And it's almost done. And then we'll start sifting our gravel. All right, so we're back. Uh, I got some string that I got from the flax we got through one of the quest and I wanted to make a bed so we could get rid of this rain the biggest thing beautiful that's squared away we are ready to go so I did get uh, all the stuff from the gravel we got iron shards lapis copper shards uh and we got coal i got the raw water shards and slime balls another slime spawn we got it and then this is the seeds that i got from sifting the dirt so we're ready to move on about our business i did break the water wheels for now just i don't know if they use any durability when they're just running and not doing anything, so I don't necessarily want to find that out just yet. So, quest. Uh, we got the quest for getting mycelium spores. Um, so we got that. Mushroom rice and some moss blocks. And then we got a seedy place. It says sifting dirt has a chance of producing faster seeds, which can turn dirt into grass. It gives us a shovel. We've got all that. My question is, is whether or not we can turn what grass we have or bone meal what grass we have it does not so we are going to need the pasture seeds to get regular dirt and of course I don't have any space in my inventory and we have grass block and now I should be able to bone meal. We got flowers. That's what I want right there is the wheat seeds. Now we're going to need, and the hemp seeds. We're going to need more than that of these. But for the time being, that will do what we need it to do. We'll get some more grass growing uh, soon enough. But basically, we need to get us a piece of wheat, which is actually what I wanted. And we'll grab some of our bone meal and see what we can't do here. Sweet. Beautiful. Um, I have too much stuff in my inventory. Can I place this guy down? I can't. So now we've got more wheat seeds. We've got the wheat, and the wheat is what we need in order to make get chicken. It says, now that you have wheat, craft up a chicken palooza pearl. This will rain chickens down on you for food and soul harvesting to use later. And all we need is a bunch of wheat and some planks. So uh, I'm going to need more wheat than that. So let's get some more. Nine, that's enough to make. We'll just run through what bone meal we got in our hand here. Beautiful. That's what we need. 
I have my crafting table on a stick. I don't have it on me. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, all right, so we need... Uh, that was this guy here. Do I have any planks? I do not. Stripped log. Planks. Chicken nest. I need... That guy. And then we need the chicken palooza pearl. And there is that guy. Beautiful. That quest is now complete. That gives us a cake. And it gives us some more cooked chicken and another chicken's nest. So I think before we drop this guy or throw him or whatever it is that we need to do i'm going to get us some wood together see i told you great big trees uh i'm going to get some wood together and i'm going to that can go up make us a pen for this um actually it looks like it's just killing chickens so maybe we don't need to do that um let's get us uh some food let's get us a sword um i need a piece of cobblestone which i don't have actually i need two pieces of cobblestone That should do us, and quest complete. Where's that? Uh, we got quite a few quests. Uh, one uh, for wheat. We got that, and we get an egg. Lovely. Base expansion, one for making a wand that gives us a shape builder and some tea. And mana manifest that just gives us a flower and a fortune cookie. And we still got one more somewhere. Armor and weapons. Just for making a vanilla sword, and that just gives us a some random food, and our inventory is full yet again. Alright, so we've got some kind of event happening, and I don't know a quantum goat. And he died. And that gives us a dimensional shard, which I have no idea what we need for that. Uh, the fortune cookie will hold on to the flower pouch. Should that get got anything in it? It does not. We're going to be getting in Patania soon enough. Uh, silk touch and mending that. That we'll hold on to the pork chops for a minute. We don't need our quest book or that on us anymore. And I think we're, I think we're good to go to do this. So throw that down. It opens up a gateway. And it's going to allow us to kill a whole bunch of chickens. Beautiful. Now what we could do is do another one of these because they're not hard to make, and get us, I don't know if, they may may despawn because they're all glowing. There went my sapling. So how many waves is there in this? Four. Well, nothing else, we've at least got some food. And some feathers. There's something else we're going to need it for eventually anyways. And. One more wave.
Actually, you know what? Let's just to see. Can I get? I had a bunch of seeds here somewhere. Oh, they will. Oh, I hit the baby chicken. I didn't want to hit him. He's not glowing, so after this is finished, he should still stay. Oh, come on. It would help if I didn't have auto jump turned on. These little boogers are quick. Oh, I hit my frog. Uh, and we've got one more chicken over here. Don't you fall off. And that's done. And then we should be able to go over here and collect a whole bunch of XP. Well, it's not much, but... There we go. That is how that works. And I think with that, that is where we're going to leave it. Uh, we've progressed a little bit. We've got to the point where I've got the stuff now that we can look at getting into the create and getting into our plant oils and stuff. Or not our plant oils, but some of our first fluids. Uh, we've got what we need to get started with occultism. Uh, that's going to be, I guess, the next part of this. Uh, it looks like we have to start occultism. And then from there, it is going to be going around and getting into the uh, Ars Nouveau and then Batania. So, but yeah, we've, we've got an easier way of getting resources. Not that we can get much right now. Uh, and we have got food. Uh, at least for the moment we got stuff growing so with that hope you guys enjoyed the episode thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time bye